Hi guys, this is Shumon from ASA Technical. Today, I am going to show you how to select an EFI file as trusted for executing. And also, this tutorial will help to fix no bootable device problem if you have secure boot enable EFI Windows 10. And one more thing, I have made two videos on no bootable issues before. There I showed 5 basic solutions and 2 advanced solutions related to this problem. If you want, you can take a look at the tutorial link in the description below. Well, let's get started. At first press Ctrl Alt Delete Combo key to execute an emergency restart. Next go to BIOS. In my case the BIOS key is F2. Check out your device manufacturer information for the BIOS key. Next go to BIOS security menu. Note. If all the secure boot options are grayed out in BIOS, then at first you have to set the supervisor password or administrator password. Alright, now just follow me to do that. Select Save Supervisor Password option and press Enter. Now type your password in the first blanks and press Enter. Next retype your password and press Enter to confirm. Ok, as you can see, now all these secure boot options are now available. Alright, now choose the option, select an EFI file as trusted for executing and press enter. Now select your HDD while your windows are installed and press enter. Next select EFI and press enter. Next select boot and press enter. Now select boot x64.efi and press enter. Now type windows boot manager as boot description. And press enter. And again press enter to confirm. Ok. Now if you want you can disable your bio supervisor password or administrator password. Alright. Now press F10 and enter to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Now again go to BIOS. Next go to boot menu. Now select EFI Windows boot manager that you have created. Now move this EFI Windows boot manager upwards of the list to set as primary boot priority order. Also, you can set your primary hard drive as a fast boot device. Alright, now press F10 to save configuration changes and press enter to exit from BIOS. Alright, now your PC will be reboot. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. Ok, as you can see, it's working properly. And note, this procedure will only work on secure boot enable EFI Windows system. If not solved, then you have to try another solution, which link given in the description below. Alright. Now, if you want to erase all secure boot settings, then just follow me. At first, go to BIOS. Next, go to security menu. Now select erase all secure boot settings and press enter. And again, press enter to confirm. That's it. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.